Chris here, Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. Let me tell you about the three new Excel superpowers. Here they are, yes. Firstly, you've got to know XLOOKUP. We love XLOOKUP, quite new in Excel. It's a great replacement for Match and Index. What about Lambda? The second Excel superpower, Lambda allows you to design your own custom functions in Excel. And then finally, things like sort by our dynamic array formulae, super powerful. We love those too. You just got to learn these formulae, guys. They are your Excel superpowers. Can't do this anymore, guys. Let's tear this up. My acting's terrible. The Excel superpowers are about so much more than that. And I'm going to try to tell you, explain in the next five to 10 minutes what I think the superpowers are. These are what I call, call meta skills. They're transcendental. They make everything easier or everything harder. They can have a massive impact on your Excel learning. First, let's have a look at this uh, YouTube comment on the screen now. So you can see this person is working with 13 sheets and I've worked with many files over the years with multiple sheets. What do you think about this? Maybe you've been in this situation yourself. What does it tell us about the Excel superpowers? And then Secondly, these comments, one thing I can guarantee when I release an Excel tutorial video, somebody is going to comment saying the explanation is too slow. Somebody else is going to comment saying the explanation is too fast. So what's, what do you think to that? What do you think to these comments? And what do they tell us about the Excel meta skills? So let's firstly deal with this idea of a superpower or a meta skill. As I said, these are transcendental. These are higher level skills that make everything easier or that make everything harder. To give you an example, who's the best football player? Who's the best soccer player in the world? You're going to say Lionel Messi, aren't you? Well, I would disagree. I would say it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Everybody who knew him said one thing. They said he practices harder than anybody else. There's this meta skill, the skill of practice. He's really good at that. That allows everything else to happen. We'll get back to Cristiano later. Let's talk about how this idea translates into Excel. What are the Excel superpowers? Well, firstly, you've got to start planning your spreadsheet and you can do this using good old pen and paper. You can do this using PowerPoint as I did when I created uh, this visual, which is from a real world project. Why is that important? We've got to get into design mode. We've got to be, feel like an architect. That's because we've got to make sure we've got the right number of sheets in the file. We've got to make sure we've got a clear role for each sheet in the file. We've got to make sure we're understanding the interactions between the sheets. What mechanisms usually formally are pulling data around the file, for example. If we can do this, it makes everything easier as all of the meta skills do. Yes, if our design is simple and effective, that means fewer fancy formally. Yes, this should be our aim, not to learn more and more sophisticated formally. It should be to use simple formally that are going to work well, are robust, are going to work well over time. Planning your spreadsheet is going to give you the right structure, is going to allow you to do that. And this is what our first YouTube commenter really needs. The second Excel superpower is being able to debug. And I'll flush up these comments again. So you might say, but Chris, these people are just trying, they're just trying to follow along with your video. You know, they're trying as hard as you, as hard as they can. Well, I would say people are always trying to apply the examples that I share to their own work. So at some point, you kind of have to take ownership of this formula and get it into your workbook. That means debugging because you can absolutely guarantee something's going to go wrong with that formula when you put it into your workbook. You have to be able to debug. I love this quote. I love this quote. I always quote this quote. This is the approach we're trying to foster here on Tiger. So how does this translate into your real world practice? Well, if you've got a problem with the formula, are you confident just clicking on the formula? This is the first thing you can do. I actually love debugging because I know we'll get there in the end and I'm going to learn something new. So you can grow to love this. But the first step is to simply click on the formula and then understand the cells that this formula is interacting with. And there's more sophisticated tools. We can evaluate a formula. We can step through a formula. These debugging tools, if you're confident debugging, you can learn any Excel formula. Yes, these are the superpowers. They work on a higher level. Superpower number three. 
understanding the applications of Excel. What are you trying to do in Excel? And I went on a mission last year. I tried to understand this question and I did it by going through 330 of my real world projects and reviewing what were people trying to do in each of those projects. I find people are only trying to do one of four things in Excel. One of four things, that's it. People are often just trying to do data inputs. People are trying to do modeling. So they're trying to create a model using formally input process and output. Third, people are doing data analysis. And fourth, people are trying to automate using Excel VBA, automate some kind of process. They're actually the only things that people do in Excel. Why is this such a profound idea? Well, if you can understand what you're trying to do, that is what should drive your choice of technique. Yes, each of these applications comes with a specific bundle of techniques. So no more looking around on the internet trying to find what technique to use. You'll know what technique to use if you understand the applications of Excel. That's why it comes in as our third meta skill and Excel superpower. Finally, I've got a bonus one here. Yes, you've got to be a critical consumer. You've got to be a critical consumer of Excel content. That includes my content. So what does critical consumer mean? Well, don't just believe what people say. You know, even if they've got a big following, they've got a YouTube channel, they've got a nice LinkedIn profile. Don't just believe it. Rather, listen to it, absorb it, reflect on it, and then try to work out is this right for me or not? Because everyone's dealing with a different set of circumstances, a different set of Excel tasks they're trying to do. The techniques they use should be slightly different. So it's not just about learning the latest technique that somebody is talking about on YouTube, because to be honest, and I'm guilty of this sometimes too, people are looking for views. People haven't always got your best interest in mind, but hopefully you can see on this channel, we have a foundation of ideas built around the Excel superpowers, the meta skills that really drives everything we do. So quickly, back to Cristiano, and I want you to take a bit of inspiration from Cristiano today, because we've got to achieve a shift in mindset from this kind of piecemeal learning, I've learned another formula, I know the latest formula. Try to consider yourself as a practitioner try to consider Excel as a skill. And I love this idea. I find it so liberating because if something's a skill, just like Cristiano is a footballer, admittedly a very good one, but he's just practicing a skill and we're all somewhere, sounds a bit cheesy, but we're all somewhere on our Excel journey. It's got to be long-term. It's got to be incremental improvement and it should be built around our Excel superpowers. If you like the idea of the superpowers, particularly the Excel applications, you are going to love our Excel basics course. I've built a training course around those four applications of Excel that we've mentioned earlier. Links in the description. You can go and check that out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. The next video to watch is in the pinned comment below this video. I'll see you there.